What is up, everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, might I say, I hope you're having a pretty sweet day. <laughs> my name is Chef Sodine. Welcome to my podcast, Sweets with Sodine, uh, where I am on a mission to dissect the pastry world. I'm a lover of sweets, treats, pastries, chocolates, whatever it is, you name it, I love it. I have a giant sweet tooth, and I'm surprised I haven't had more cavities in my life. Uh, let's, let's be real. But uh, just a little bit about me so you guys know who I am. I grew up in a small little town in Nevada. Like, not even kidding, there's more tumbleweeds than, than people there. And so it was an interesting, not very many opportunities there, um, but I did get the chance to kind of grow and, and grow my love for pastries and baking. So I've, you know, for four years, I was a cook at a, at a candy store and made anything from fudge all the way to brittles and to toffee, caramel. I had so much fun with that job. That was amazing. And then now more recently, um, I'm working at a French French bakery. Um, and now I have moved. I am going to school full time to study to become a pastry chef. Um, and so I just wanted to share what I'm learning because I – I want to learn everything about the pastry world and because it, it excites me so much and I want to share that with other people and I want them to be able to have the same excitement and, and learn these new things um, as uh, along with me as I do. And so I'm ready to, to kind of dive in and dissect the pastry world with y'all. I want to kind of give you a little background, kind of how I got wanted to get this podcast started, kind of who I am and everything. Um, just so we can, you guys can get to know me before we dive into the rest of this season on this podcast. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I was from a, a very small town, currently studying to become a pastry chef. Um, and I, I believe that every person and, and pastry um, has, a, has a story. And that's why, I, why I'm doing the podcast, because I want to capture that story. I want to be able to learn from those stories and to grow too. And so I, when I was younger, um, probably just a little, wee little, little yad, lad, wow, I can't even speak, oh my gosh, a wee little lad, you know, for some reason the cat got my tongue right there, but that's okay. Um, I remember wanting to spend more time with my mom, and so that kind of equated to, okay, let me go help her in the kitchen. And so what I did is I went and started helping her in the kitchen, um, and we always would have like people over and... and like the big thing at the end is like, we we have a dessert, you know, something it didn't need to be crazy big, but it was always, we always had a dessert uh, when we had our friends over. And I don't know exactly what the first thing my mom let me make was. I, it could have been like box brownies, box cake, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was those Nestle, like Toll House cookies, you just like chop off and put it on a plate. Like those are, those are super hard to mess up. And so, I mean, smart on her for having me do something simple at the beginning but I really loved that. Um, there was this direct um, correlation. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. The direct correlation between getting this opportunity to spend more time with my mom and learning to love baking. So as I grew to love baking and, and making pastries, I feel like this love that I had for my mom grew more because she was teaching me and, and helping me um, become better. And so I continued with that path. Um, I, I remember... As I, as I was younger, watching Guy Fieri, Anthony Bourdain, all of them traveling and seeing these amazing new things. And I thought, you know what? That's what I want. I want to be able to travel, try these new cultures, these new foods, and learn from it. And I thought, you know, it'd be so cool to document it and show it to other people. And so this is kind of the start of that, this podcast, Sweets with Sodi. Um, this is where we're going we're gonna to see um, all of these crazy new amazing things. We're going to meet new people. We're going to interview people in the industry, whether that's be business owners, chefs, critics, whatever, influencers, we're going to, we're going to talk with them. And then we're also going to learn about different topics in the pastry world, like chocolates or, you know, maybe cookies one day, something like that. Um, and so that's what I'm really excited about, but just a little bit more about me. So I, I grew up, like I was saying, in that super small town in Nevada. Literally, like, we 
we now have two stoplights. Like that's a big thing. Um, for a long, longest time, we only had one stoplight. And so everyone, we knew everyone went to, went to high school and in high school, my very first year, um, I did culinary, culinary arts. And, um, I laughed because that was an interesting experience. I honestly did not like it my first year. Um, and I hope, I hope, um, the teacher doesn't hear this or doesn't listen to this. Um, but the teacher, my first year was horrible he wasn't that great. He didn't really have the passion for it. Um, he was just kind of, there was another job for him. And so I remember vividly actually one time where this little girl or well, not little girl, but I, I, she was like, I think a freshman my age too, but she ended up burning her hand going to the teacher be like, what do I do? Like, why, you know, how can I, it hurts so much. How can I get it to stop? And he was just like, I don't know. That's one of your classmates. So then she comes to me freaking out and everything. And I just felt so bad. I was like, Oh, here, let me help you. But then after that, I was like, I'm not taking this class. Sophomore year, I don't take it. Junior year, you know, I get the feeling, you know what, I should try it again. I really liked that. I want to do it. Find out they're having a new teacher. And okay, I'm like, yep, done. I'm going to do it. A couple of my friends came and did it with me, which was amazing. Uh, I really had some great great opportunities and learning experiences there. But so this guy, he comes in, this new teacher, I believe he was 25 his first year, 25, this teacher. And he's pretty much, he's like, yeah, I'm teaching for fun now. Cause I'm getting ready to retire. You know, I've made a ton of money in the industry. I love it. It's been great, but he's recognized. He said, there's not a lot of good people in the industry. So I want to come and teach people and train them. Um, so that, you know, we have better people in the food industry and that was so cool because, oh my gosh, there was someone there that actually cared about me, about what I love to do. And he cared about how helping me achieve my goals. I I'm still in contact with this teacher. Um, and he's been instrumental into helping me. Um, so big shout out to, to chef Childers. Um, I love you, man. I, I hope you're doing good. Um, and I don't know if I said it, but it should have been the first thing I said. Shout out to my mom uh, giving me this love of baking and allowing me to and trusting me to to bake in the first place. You're amazing. And, and I love you, too. So Chef Childers, this man, he pushed me to be the best I could. He's he told me, he's like, I know what you're capable of. So we're going to we're going to push you to those limits. And during those two years that I had him at, as a teacher, I, I grew in, and learned so much. Um, we had, you know, restaurant days where I created the whole menu. I ran it in charge of everything and just was a huge success. And I loved that. We did catering events, catered weddings together. And then also one of the, the biggest things um, that we did was Skills USA, uh, which if you don't know what it is, um, basically we, for practice, we would wake up at four, we get to school at four in the morning at twice a week, bake in the morning to prepare for this big competition we'd have at the end of the year. And so then we'd also have, you know, local divisional regional competitions where you compete and everything. And I kid you not, we had like, maybe like, it was like 20 kids maybe, um, and the end of the year, um, well, it was, it was 20 kids in our heat. I think they had all together like 40. Um, but we competed and it was so stressful. They had, you know, they're judging us with everything that we we're doing. But that was a great experience um, to grow from that. That really showed me a lot and showed me how much I was capable of um, and creating in this this pastry world. And so I ended up um, leaving high school um, after high school. I decided to um, serve a um, two-year, um, ser- it's kind of like, it's a. It's called a, a two-year mission, um, but it's basically what I got assigned to um, go to Boston, Massachusetts, the New England area, never actually was in Boston, um, but, and I got to serve the Hispanic population. So we leave everything behind, um, and that was kind of hard for me because I was leaving baking behind. I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to really do this. 
Um, but luckily, I had many opportunities to use that skill to serve other people, to help other people. And it brought me a lot of joy to you know, make something and then to, to give it to, to someone else, see their face light up. And I, I realized, okay, this is really, really what I need to be doing, something in this, in this industry to help other people uh, find that joy that I have through baking. So while I was there, um, I don't know if I, I said it yet, but I was um, serving the Hispanic population, came to love those people. And not only them, but their food. Their food is so good. Um, if you haven't had a pupusa, you need to eat a pupusa. Like I know, okay, I know I'm not supposed to be talking about savory foods here on this podcast. It's sweets with sodies, with sodi, but you have to have a pupusa. It's so good. Um, I got I got shown a lot of different cultures that opened up my eyes and made me realize again. Okay, I want to discover. All of this stuff needs to be new for me, and. So I'm kind of setting out on that journey again. Now that I'm back and going to school full time, that journey is starting, starting to unfold. I'm going to, to find more joy in dissecting the pastry world and helping other people see what there is out for us, out, out there for us. And so now I'm, I'm back going to school full time um, at UVU. I'm studying to become a pastry chef. Um, I'm halfway through the program right now, and I just wanted to shout out another another person um, that not only when just a couple of days ago when I was telling her about this and, and showing her got super excited for me, um, but also just a person that has helped me learn and grow and has shown me that, that they're going to be there for me and that has really given me a lot of advice and helped me out, especially in the last couple of weeks um, as I'm going through this program. And that is um, my my chef, my current chef, uh, Chef Meg. Um, she's amazing. Uh, she knows so much and she is always there willing to help. And so I'm, I'm very thankful for her and I'm thankful that she's excited that I'm, gonna, I'm doing this and that she's supporting me with that. Um, just big shout out to her and everyone else um, at UVU, my classmates, I have some amazing classmates and the other teachers there too. Thank you for helping us uh, grow our dreams. But that's just kind of a brief summary of, of who I am. I really want to get to know the people here in the culinary and, and specifically the baking and pastry industry so I can understand what makes them them why do they love to do what they do why are these pastries so important to them i know why it's important to me it's important to me because i get to help people find joy i get to help people you know it's a special if most of the time when people go out a lot of times they don't always order dessert but usually when it's a special occasion or something going on in their life they order a dessert they order pastry or something so you get to add that little bit extra joy and happiness to that special day to them and i i hope that in the, in the future that the pastries and the desserts the that i make will, will bring that joy to other people too help them see that uh, this world is actually a, a bright place to live in i i plan on posting every other week on fridays um, on spotify apple Podcasts, youtube and i'll be dissecting this pastry world um so I got a couple of guests lined up. The next episode, we are going to have an amazing chocolatier that I got to meet a couple of weeks back. He is super nice, super amazing. We've been talking back and forth. I'm so excited to, to meet him and record with him and just talk about the pastry world with him and about chocolate specifically. Um, and so watch out for that. And we have other people, cake artists that we're going to be talking to. And then I'm going to um, have a couple episodes where I – um, talk it's solo episodes where I talk about other things um, but yeah um, so I invite all of you to discover these tantalizing secrets of the pastry world with me as your guide chef Sodi. so embark with me on this uh, the delectable journey in this podcast where I'm, I'm going to take a deep dive to uncover the fascinating stories and the brilliant minds that shape the dessert landscape 
And so join me. I want to intimately get to know everyone. Uh, we'll intimately get to connect with the mastermind, masterminds behind these mouthwater and treats um, and unravel their unique paths to success. And I am super excited to embark on this journey with you all. Uh, don't forget to leave a review um, on, about my podcast. That really does help get it to more people. And so if you like it, leave a review, share it with people, blow it up because this is going to be big. I'm so excited for what we've got lined up this the rest of this season. We have some amazing people and I'm so excited to share it with you all. So leave a like, review, comment. I'll have uh, all my socials down at the uh comments below the captions whatever it is but su subscribe to the podcast subscribe to my youtube and then also follow me on instagram and i just hope everyone has a sweet rest of their day and thank you for tuning in i love you all